Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. Want to make some gross skin spreading infection effect using a simple modifier setup? You do. You know you do. So let's go. First, let's make a grid and give it a decent size, like 25, and subdivisions of about 50 on the X and Y. Now give it a subdivision surface under the modifiers tab on the right side of the screen, or you can just hit Control 3 on the keyboard. They both do the same thing. After the subdivision modifier, add in a displace modifier, then under type, choose clouds. This gives us disgusting, but you just, you just don't see it yet. It's all blocky looking, so go to the object and choose Shade Smooth. Add in a sphere and just let it sit there for a while, probably like contemplating its existence or something. Now, let's hit Tab and go into Edit Mode. Make sure all the points are selected and hit Control G on the keyboard. This makes a group that we will use later. It's crucial to this effect. Go under Displace and choose Group. This is the crucial thing we spoke about like a long time ago. For this whole thing to work now, the magic thing we need to do is add in a vertex weight proximity modifier. This allows us to localize the effect. You'll see in a minute. Make sure to place this modifier between the subdivision and the displace modifier. This tells modifiers under it what to do. For vertex group, choose group. For target object, choose sphere. Change highest to zero and lowest to like not zero. When you move the sphere now, it affects the modifier, but it does so on the whole object. So let's localize it. To do that, under Distance, change from Object to Geometry. Now the effect only happens closest to the sphere, and fades out to nothing in the distance. Now, if you make duplicates of your sphere by hitting Shift-D and moving them around, then join them together into one object by hitting Ctrl-J for Join, the effect is gone. All you need to do now is either rename your new joined object to Sphere, or change from Sphere to Sphere 001 in the Vertex Modifier's Target Object Selection box, and BAM! You get this effect happening under all the spheres. This makes for a nice yucky skin infection to gross people out with. You can now animate the effect by moving the spheres around. Or you can keyframe the lowest parameter on the vertex modifier and see it spread. Now it's just a matter of playing with the look. You can keyframe the texture size and the displacement modifier texture that you added before to make this thing move. You can also give it a wave modifier after everything and time it to the spread to make it look like it's rippling out from the center. There's so many different things you can do with this. I've chosen to give it a skin texture, some subsurface scattering, and a studio HDRI from HDRI Haven, and got these results just playing around. So you'll see a few different results that I have here. And they're all just different settings. So go and have fun, get dirty, be gross, and live the good life. The more you play around, the better you'll get. Thanks.